The next two weeks are extremely critical for this country. As we seek to contain the outbreak. This was last week after the Minister of Health warned of the situation being tough for Kenyans, especially in the economic sector, and the expected COVID-19 cases surge. And the fears by the Ministry of Health has now seen it now step up to its measures and plus to ensure that the situation does not get out of hand. By Sunday last week, the country had recorded 42 positive cases, while nearly a thousand people who came into close contact with confirmed cases remaining in isolation. And to ensure that they contain the spread of the virus, the national government now has resolved to expanding its capacity for convention purposes, especially in the counties. The private sector, for instance, has identified various areas, including schools, including air flight hangars, that can be used if the need were to arise. They can be used as uh, hospitals, isolation facilities, if we were to go that far. Kagwe further urged business and religious communities to think ahead in case the health facilities are overstretched and begin identifying specific areas where the sick can be isolated. Going forward, it is indeed very likely that our health facilities can and could be overrun by just the demands. And this is why we are saying this is not a government issue alone. Countries such as China, Italy and the United States that have had large numbers of the coronavirus cases have been faced with challenges of having enough hospitals and enough necessary effects in fight against the virus. In Italy, the increasing cases forced patients to remain crowded in hospitals with some sleeping on the floor. While in the U.S., health officials now fear the increasing number of the cases, they could likely follow the deadly path charted by Italy, with health professionals exhausted and hospitals desperately short of protective equipment and ventilators. Milia Kisienya for Ebru TV.